So, a device that you listen through may be listening to you. A new class action lawsuit claims high-end headphone company Bose has been tracking and distributing customers' data without telling them. No, it can't be true. That kind of stuff doesn't happen, right? Well, according to the complaint filed late Tuesday in the U.S. District Court in Chicago, the headphone company's Bose Connect app does more than just pair wireless headphones with the music in their devices. It also connects the user's entire listening history with third-party data mining companies. A person's music and podcast listening history can likely reveal personal and identifying details, the lawsuit says. For example, if a, li if a user listens to a Muslim prayer service, it is likely the individual is Muslim, the suit notes. Other potentially revealing information such as sexual orientation or health concerns could also be gleaned from the data, the suit says. Boy, I'm glad I use cheap headphones that I don't think listen to me. But anyway, attorney Chris Dorr, whose firm Edelson PC is representing main plaintiff Kyle Zack, who paid $350 for his headphones in the class action suit, and they told NBC News that Bose never informed customers about data mining. Gosh, I wish I could afford 350 bucks for a pair of headphones. Mine cost about $15. But anyway, one of the issues raised by this lawsuit is that it's not clear what's happening, uh, Chris Dorr said. The danger with undisclosed and unexplained data collection is the world is open to these companies to do what they want. Dorr said Bose Connect does have a privacy policy, but users aren't required to view or agree. Uh, he went on to say the user does not interact with it in any way when signing up for the app. It also doesn't disclose this data collection. No, I doubt that Bose would want you to know that they were uh, data mining you. I mean, uh, why would they want you to know? Because if you knew, you might not uh, use their headphones. Anyway, I guess uh, no matter what we do, what we say, what we write, somebody is paying attention. Somebody is trying to take advantage of it. Somebody is trying to sell our information. We really have no privacy in this world anymore, folks. This truly is 1984. I don't know. I guess I'm glad I have my cheap $15 headphones. You know, they sound quite good, actually. They have a nice bottom end response. I mean, they sound they sound wonderful to me. I mean, I've used studio quality headphones when I record music, but uh, again, they weren't Bose headphones, or they aren't Bose headphones. I think I'll just stick with my fifteen dollar cheapies. Anyway, folks, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if you feel so led. Check out the links to my fiction books and to my music. And know that no matter what you listen to, somebody is probably listening to you. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.